Welcome, Draken fans, to Draken the Ancient Gates Glitch Tutorial, Episode 13. Now, the reason why this video came out a little bit later is due to a little mishap with my saves of trying to find new glitches and figure out which order I want to present them in. And I've saved over a uh, cruiser save to take me back to episode where I left off at episode 12. So I had to restart uh, my Rin's journey and get back to where I was. Um, so we were able to, I was able to find out uh, some better ways to do some glitches as well as some brand new ones. And I hope you will enjoy uh, episode 13 as well as uh, the other episodes I will be sending out here pretty soon. Now, one of them being is Inarismus glitch onto the uh, monastery. So the sl right, the sliding rin jump, the sliding safe rin jump. What well, we're gonna found, well, we found that it's better to actually aim for that little corner right there. And while aiming for that little corner, we're gonna do an added benefit of having all these weapons uh, follow us down there. Let me get a little bit closer. Ooh, that's really close. Okay, here we go. I'll need to make some room for that. Yeah, so if you remember from also episode three as well as episode one, um again a link in the description down below. Is that I said that just uh, tapping the jump button is just as good. Well, there are certain situations where you do want to jump time to jump correctly, such as this one right here. If as soon as you start sliding and you press triangle repeatedly, Rin will actually jump at the top. So be careful on that part. And also, when you jump off, hold the control stick uh, forward like this. That will get you the maximum distance for Rin to be actually to make the jump. Another thing to note that I just find kind of weird. The um, bow here, the short bow, its shadow is the only one, only weapon that I've found that its shadow renders down there when it's on the monastery roof. I just find that a little bit weird. But moving on to the next one that I found that's a bit better. <clears throat> it's a little more consistent as long as you are very careful. Um, so if you remember correctly, we drop down over he over in that direction and Ren receives a considerable amount of damage. Well, actually, there's a better way to do this. Let me see. Locks. There. See? Right there. Is Rin is receives considerably less damage than she would have dropping up all over there. Um, just be careful not to walk too far forward. Uh, like run off. If you get into these these bricks right here, uh, Rin will actually get stuck in there. So just FYI. Now going off over here. I found out, you know the monks chanting? Uh, well, if you want to actually have uh, the monks chant while outside flying with Arak, all you do is just touch the gate here, and then you can hear the monks chanting. And if you want to keep it that way, you can either exit out here. Or, if you got these, um, if you want to just stop the um, nighttime, not do the nighttime and Sardana glitch, you can also exit out over here. Oops, I kind of messed up right there. Um, but you can actually exit out over here. Super Rin speed. Okay. And then there we go. Um, then you have a sunny, sunny sky. You still have the sunny skies of the um, Sardana, and you have the monks chanting. I prefer the Night Time of Sardana glitch, but. 
there's going to be a reason why we currently have it as the sunny skies as it is right now. So moving on to the next glitch. So another nice little, very small minor glitch um, is we're going to make Arup look like he's going in warp speed. So let's see here. So what we do is um, back up with the fire and then go forward. And then there. It kind of looks like Arok is going in warp speed as he's flying. Uh, since the somehow the script for the fire breath, when you pause the game, it'll just continue to do this. So yeah, it just looks like he's going through warp speed. Nothing really special, but just uh, something cool I just thought I'd just note to you guys. So we are back at the Mushroom Caves, and uh, I just discovered a nice little shortcut. This is actually kind of hard to perform. Uh, what we want to do is Scone Killer's Glitch. And the um, nice thing to know about Scone Killer's Glitch is when you actually perform it, uh, Rain will actually go into the mountain and will actually have her pop up higher than she originally was. Which again makes it a lot more, uh, gets her to places that she wouldn't be able to get to otherwise with just doing a backflip. But again, it's hard to, because you want to land on that, um, you want to pop up right on top of that, uh, flat rock. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to show you exactly what angle, so you want to run up to this corner here. Um, let's see here, maybe right here. Nope. Not there. Maybe if I aim a little bit to the left. Nope. A little bit to the right, maybe? Ah, darn it. Darn it. Gosh, this can be actually real frustrating to do, too. There we go. That's where I need to be angled at. So hopefully you'll be able to use that as a future reference when you want to do this uh, glitches right where Rin was facing that one time. All right, moving on to the next glitch. So what we're going to do here is get on the top of the house where the basement was once full of spiders. Let's see, first I'm going to have Ren jump off from our rock. All right, then we'll slide down, jump and land on top of here. We have an invisible uh, barrier which we can just fall through right there or you can just jump down and fall through. And if you want to actually get into the Spider-Man's house you just run off to the side here. You'll take some damage. But now we're in the Spider-Man's hut. And yes, we can trigger the uh, chest still. Now the one thing um, is if you go ahead and load up the um, this, the house. Let's see if I did. Oh, not quite. I need to get a little bit further out. Now it should be loaded. There we go. Is that if you activate a chest when it's not loaded like that, you actually erase the top of it. Kind of makes it look interesting, right? Like one of those uh, terribly kept antique chests that you find in the... But yeah, that's, bas that's basically it for uh, this episode. And we're actually going to get into the mountain bypass glitch next episode. I'll see if I can do a little bit of a tutorial on how to uh, traverse in there. Okay, Eric, yes, you can land. Or fly up, whichever. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.